Welcome to Photoshop Lab. Let's start this by using rectangular tool. Select your color. Control T or transform to then right click select skew. Hit enter. You can resize it if you want or if needed. Then use eclipse tool. Use ruler to serve as your guide as you place the eclipse on the top of the rectangular shape. This will serve as the platform for your pillar. Then select the rectangle layer, open its layer style, double click, select inner shadow. You can copy my setting or you can set the sliders based on your perspective. Hit OK. Then next, the Eclipse. Duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Select the Duplicate, then clip it on the top of the rectangle shape. When layer style, then select Outer Glow. Set the sliders based on your perspective, or again, you can copy my setting. Hit OK. Select the rectangle shape, then add new layer, clip it again on the top of the rectangle shape. Select darker tone or dark color, use softer brush, this will serve as your shadow. You can reduce the opacity if you need it. Add new layer, clip it again on the top of the rectangle shape. Set blend mode to overlay. Use white as your foreground color, then brush the tip or the edge of the pillar. Next, select the eclipse, then add new layer, clip it on the top of the eclipse, then use again the brush tool, set the blend mode to overlay and reduce its opacity. Duplicate the group, Ctrl plus J, then transform to select flip horizontal. Reverse the highlights and shadow of the pillar. Repeat the exact process that we did on the first pillar. Now let's create the window, use rectangular tool again, set the color based on your perspective, drag the edge inward to create the curve of the window, duplicate it, Control plus J, select the first or the top layer, make it darker, select the original copy of the rectangle, and then add new layer, clip it on the top of the original rectangle, then use darker tone foreground color, reduce its opacity if needed, select the top layer or the rectangle layer, open its layer style, then Add Outer Glow. Set the sliders based on your perspective, then hit OK. Drag the product. Add Shadow and Highlight. Set the blend mode for the shadow to multiply, then reduce its opacity. Open its layer style. Add inner shadow, then copy my slider. Add new layer and add your highlights. Set the blend mode to overlay again. Reduce the, the opacity if needed. Add 
add another layer to serve as the shadow of the product. Use lasso tool, trace the bottom part of the product, then add solid color. Convert it to smart object, then Gaussian blur. Set the blend mode of the shadow to multiply. Use lasso tool again. Let's create an, an artificial shadow. Add new layer. Then brush it. Use eraser tool. Set blend mode to multiply, then reduce the opacity. Drag the second product, then again, just do the exact thing that we did on the first product. Drag the moon image or you can download whatever image you want to place in the window. Set its blend mode to multiply or screen. Drag the clouds, convert it to smart object, use color balance tool, control plus alt plus B. Duplicate it, control plus J. Add new layer, clip it on the top of your background, then add highlights and shadow again. Set the blend mode to multiply for the shadow and overlay for the highlight. Control plus Alt plus Shift plus E, convert it to Smart Object, then add additional adjustment layers to further enhance your graphic design. And that's it. Once again, thank you so much.